Okay, guys, we're still in Chapter 7. Uh, questions and problems. We're going to look at 7.14. 7.14, okay? All right, so... And again, guys, please, I know many of you just go straight to the solution, but the best way for you to learn is for you to try it on your own. Even if you get it wrong, the more you try things the more you know what you know and you don't know and the better you learn okay so please try this question on your own and then look at the solution okay an arrow is shot into a hollow pipe okay so there's the pipe so an arrow is shot into a hollow pipe resting on a horizontal table and flies out the other end okay so there's uh, I don't even know how you draw an arrow it's obviously got like feathers and stuff like that. Okay, so it goes in, and obviously it rubs against the side as it's going past, and then comes out the other end. Okay, its feathers brush against the walls of the pipe. The feathers. Okay, these imagine use your imagination that these are feathers, and brushes against the edges, the walls of the pipe. A, which type of collision? Is the arrow pipe interaction? Is it elastic, inelastic, or totally inelastic? Okay, so what do you say? Okay, is it elastic, inelastic, or totally inelastic? Well, if it's elastic, then the relative velocities should be the same before and after. Do you think that is the case? I don't think so. Is it inelastic or is it totally inelastic? Well, totally inelastic would mean that these two objects would be moving together. There would be a zero relative velocity between the, uh, the arrow and the pipe. So the answer to this is it is inelastic. Okay? So... The, the, there was a certain relative velocity between these two objects and then the friction slowed this guy down right and the relative velocity changed it reduced so inelastic b is there an instant when the velocity of the arrow relative to the pipe is necessarily zero well remember that if two objects right if they collide then there's a even if they both have a velocity velocity one velocity two remember there is an instant there is an instant during a collision where um, the velocities are the same the velocities of both of these are temporarily the same but right? even if it's an elastic collision right they collide, there's a temporary um, a, a temporary instant where the velocities are the same, and then they move off again. Whereas in this case, we can't say that that happens. Okay? There isn't a case, there isn't an instant where they are, where the relative velocity is zero. So, the answer is no. Okay, now this is the interesting part here. C. Describe the energy conversions in the pipe arrow system. Okay. So, what, what can you see is happening here? What kind of energy do we have coming in? Right, we've got some, we've got kinetic energy. And then, what kind of interactions do we have? Well, we have this, the arrow, the, the feathers, rubbing against, brushing against the walls, okay? And so, what is that doing? Well, that is increasing uh, the temperature. There's friction. There is an increase of incoherent uh, energy, okay? So, that is essentially what we have so uh, the kinetic energy, let me just find my pen now. 
the kinetic energy, uh, some of it gets converted into thermal energy. And there could also actually be uh, sound, okay? Um, right? Sound energy, converted into sound energy. And then in the rare event, right? I mean, it depends now how heavy this guy is. But th this might also convert the pipe into some, also some kinetic energy of the pipe. Right, it might cause the pipe to move in the same direction. Okay, so the kinetic energy passes through. It converts some of the kinetic energy is converted into probably most of it is converted into thermal energy due to friction. But there could be some sound energy that it that is converted, and it could also, in some case, possibly push this guy forward which means that this kinetic energy is converted also into the movement of the pipe, the kinetic energy of the pipe. Okay? All right.